Hi, this is David at MASH IT. Now, if you've been watching the channel for a little while, you'll know that I'm a major fan of Mini ITX systems. The main reviews we do are either Mini ITX or gaming laptops. And one thing I've always wanted is a decent portable monitor that I could take with an ITX system or even a laptop to extend the displays and actually have a decent high frames per second monitor that I can actually game on. Now I've been wanting this one for a long time but it's very expensive so I've been putting it off, putting it off and hoping a cheaper model would come out but that hasn't. So I've bit the bullet and I brought one in. It's the Rogstrix XG17 AHPE. This is a 17 inch 240 hertz IPS paneled USB-C monitor. Now it is very expensive and this is the cheaper of the two models available in this XG17 line. This is the AHPE, now it's just the monitor with a flip back cover which it's currently standing up using, we'll look at that in a sec. There is also a slightly more expensive one that also has a sort of tripod stand. As much as I wanted it that was an extra £50 for something that great but I can certainly live without. So I've just gone for the basic model with this flip back stand and we're going to take a look at it now. So I've just unboxed it, not even turned it on yet. So inside the box, along with the screen and the cover, we've also got a little USB charger, a USB-C cable. Now this is a HDMI to micro HDMI cable. We've got a USB to a USB-C converter. That's so that we can plug the USB-C cable into the power brick if we want to charge the actual screen. An instruction manual I'll probably never look at and a calibration report. So it is, that's nice, it's actually calibrated. So here we go, this is the cover. It's very much like an iPad sort of flip cover. You can see it sort of flips over and protects the screen. It's quite sturdy, it looks like I do a reasonable job of actually protecting it. And uh, to stand it up, if you use an iPad, you'd be used to this. You flip it round behind the actual screen and then it's got magnets for locking it into place. So it's quite convenient, so you've literally you take it out your bag, flip it back, stand it up, you're ready to go, plug your USB-C cable in. So this is what I quite liked about the cheaper model with this cheaper stand. Now the expensive model does still also come with the uh, flip back stand, but as I say you get the tripod as well. So what have we got on the actual display itself? So on the left side, we've got obviously the buttons for the interface, which we'll look at in a little while. We've got our micro HDMI cable. We have a USB-C, which is display ports. This is obviously for the display. And then we've got a USB-C charging port and we've got a headphone jack. And that's it on that side. Nothing on the other side, apart from Republic of Gamers stamp. And on the back, We've got this little nub here where the adapter screws in for the tripod mount, so therefore we don't need that. And a little ROG logo at the top and looks like that might light up, we'll have a look in a second. Right, so let's fire it up and see how it is. Okay, so I've got my Razor Blade Stealth here. This is a 13.3 inch IPS screen, so you can see how much bigger the 17 inch screen of this ROG Strix XG17 is. And I'm going to plug in the actual USB-C cable into the laptop and hopefully it should fire up. Right, so I've mirrored the displays. You can obviously see now the larger 17-inch display over on the right with this XG17. It's nice and crisp. We're going to go through the actual display options in a minute, but very vibrant. Nice IPS 240Hz display by the looks of it. Now I did notice that there's actually speakers, which I wasn't even expecting to be honest, so I'm going to just quickly fire up some royalty-free music. We are connected to the Asus XT17, and I'm just going to press play, let's see what it sounds like. So there we go, it's um, quite average, uh, it's certainly not going to win any awards, uh, but you know if you are just want to listen to a, like a YouTube video or podcast something, it would be okay, I wouldn't want to be listening to music and you will probably get away with some game sounds on it, but again you're more than likely to be using a decent headset anyway when you're gaming. Okay so unfortunately with the uh, stealth I've got here, I've just obviously plugged it into the USB-C which is great, but it shows up through the Intel graphics. But just to show you that uh, it's 1080p, 240 hertz, 
Uh, so that's all looking good. We're gonna have a quick look at the on-screen display. So if I press the top button, you can see it brings up the menu. We've got a volume control at the bottom, come out of the menu or the actual menu itself. So we're gonna go straight into the menu. Now this is quite a decent uh, on-screen display menu for just a portable monitor. I wasn't expecting this many options. So you can see straight away, we've got overdrive, we've got FreeSync Premium, and I believe uh, G-Sync as well that is, is on there. We're gonna test that out in a little while. So you've got the Game Plus, which I've never really been a big fan of, but you can put a crosshair on your screen or an FPS counter. Then we've got some color profiles here. As I go down through the monitor. So I'm gonna pop it up to 100% brightness. Now we're in quite a bright sort of shooting studio. Uh, and it is pretty good, even at 100% brightness, it's all still pretty clear. So I'm quite impressed with that. It's certainly gonna be good for gaming in a reasonably bright environment. Maybe not outside, but certainly in a, a bright room. So we've got contrast, sharpness, vivid pixels, and a blue light filter. It's quite handy if you're working in the evening. So you can adjust your color temperature, your gammas and saturation. This is pretty good. This is more what I'd expect from a, a full-size desktop monitor. You've got an option here to tell it whether you're using it on a phone or a, a PC or notebook. This will decide whether it charges from your device or just provides its own battery power. Now, because I'm using it from a PC, I've got that selected at the moment, so it will charge from my laptop, keep this battery topped up. Then if you're using it on your phone, you can use the power of the actual screen itself. Auto rotation, that's quite a nice feature. Okay, that's it, but that's a pretty good feature set, really, for a portable monitor. You can certainly tell it's a, a ROG Strix. Now, I've had a cheaper USB-C monitor in the past, and it was very basic in comparison, so that's quite nice to have all these. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna just fire up a couple of tests on it and see how it performs at 240 hertz. Okay, so having used this for a little while, obviously having the basic model, yeah, this has the folding cover that makes a stand, very much like a, an iPad. Now, it's not bad. But what I will say, it's a bit of a faff, it's a bit fiddly. It's not as good as an iPad cover. It doesn't seem to stay on very well, and the magnets aren't very strong. So when you fold it over, very often, it will come away rather than actually fold. So it's a bit of a knack folding it and getting it up and running. But once you get the knack, it's quite sturdy when it's there. But you will take you, you know, you probably curse a little time, a couple of times just trying to fold it away and the actual thing falls off. So you see it doesn't just sit nicely, you've got to then put it in and put it together. So on the back of the screen, we've got the little screw-in section. So if you've got, if you put the more expensive with a tripod mount, that's where you screw the little nub in there to fit the tripod mount. And also we've got the little ROG logo, which actually lights up when the screen lights up. So you can see that's white at the moment. If I uh, turn the screen off, there you go, you'll see that's obviously then just turned off. I expect that's using the, the backlight of the panel to come through here. Right, so to fully test this monitor out, I've uh, plugged it into a desktop and a keyboard and mouse. Now, just going to NVIDIA control panel. You can see we're at 1080p, 240 hertz. I'm just using the HDMI just to test and I'm gonna test it as USB-C in a second as well. I'm just going to fire up Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Just check the graphics settings. You can see we've got the Asus XG17, 240 hertz, high settings. Just gonna fire up a quick, see how it goes. Now I am gonna use the inbuilt speakers just to see what they sound like in game.
Right. Okay. So there we go, a bit of Call of Duty Modern Warfare on this panel. Now, obviously the advantage of using something like this is it allows you to use a desktop PC, especially an ITX little PC, with this to give you a mobile gaming experience. It's great, you can just fold the cover over, pop it in a bag and off you go, just as if it was a laptop. So then why buy this over buying a laptop? Because it is expensive at £499. It's probably the most expensive 7-inch screen you'll ever buy. The reason being is, not everybody wants a laptop. Some people want a desktop that they can cart around to LAN events or to just a friend's house or something and have that desktop power because when you buy a laptop, they become obsolete every year or two if you want to keep up with sort of the, the modern rigs. And they've never got the amount of power in a laptop as you get in a desktop. So by buying this monitor, yes, it's expensive initially, but it will last you over three, four, maybe five builds if you're quite happy at 1080p. It's incredibly fluid at 240 hertz. So a good brightness really responsive and then obviously I'm getting desktop class gaming performance through this. So I think you've got to have a serious use case to want to spend £499 on this screen. If you go to LAN events, if you go to game at your mate's house and you want to do it with a desktop PC, this is a great way to do it rather than trying to cart around a 25 or a 27 inch screen. Now it will take you a little while to get used to the 17 inch screen over an actual 24 inch or 27 inch screen or even bigger because you know you need to sit closer like if you're using a laptop. But once you get used to it, I found I was playing as effectively as this as I do on my normal 240Hz 25-inch Anywhere monitor that I use. So for £499, you're getting a great little 17-inch portable monitor that is USB-C, it's HDMI, it's 240Hz with great brightness, very responsive. It's got inbuilt speakers and an inbuilt battery. So, you know, you don't have to run this, you know, you can put a Nintendo Switch through this and run it off the battery. You can also run it off of just a power bank. Now, if you've got a 20 series, like a 2070 or 2080 graphics card, you'll have a USB-C port on there as well. So you can run the monitor with just one cable. So it makes it quite a unique experience. Well, I think that pretty much sums this monitor up. I'm gonna do another follow-up video where I'm gonna put it in a, just a tiny little ITX case and make a little mobile LAN rig, which is the reason that I've actually got this uh, panel. So please like and subscribe. You'll be notified when that video comes up shortly. Thank you for watching.